Okay guys, tuneno na kutengeneza HTML table kwa kutumia JavaScript, HTML, CSS, Ajax, PHP pamoja na database na SQL, okay? So for example, na products, list of all products, so zipo kwenye database na SQL, okay? So na column ya name, quantity price, tax collection, status, ID and profit, okay? So products zote zina quantity ya 1, 1 1, okay? So for example, come to this product with id of 1 okay so id of 1 in database ni la coste so la coste na id ya 1 okay and quantity is 1 okay so for example i update quantity from 1 to 2 okay so now try to update okay so item has been updated okay so when i come to database okay refresh okay so now quantity is 2 from 1 to 2, ID is 1 and name is Lacoste, okay so for example I change to for example 3, 4, 5 6, okay when I come to refresh now you can see 6, also I calculate automatic and I calculate profit, uh, based on tax collection, I calculate profit for example now profit in here, okay so when I come to refresh my page you can see, okay so profit here yeah, database profit here yeah, okay okay so now for example i change to for example uh, quantity equal to one or to two then the item has been updated and now no longer now profits in a calculator automatically okay so when i come to refresh so now profit has been changed okay okay so for example, now I come to ID number two, that is Samsung Galaxy, okay? Yes, I can find here some, okay, Samsung Galaxy, okay? So, current quantity is one, and come to database, Samsung Galaxy, ID is ID number two, ID number two, for example, this is ID number two, okay, Samsung Galaxy, uh, when I, quantity is one, current quantity is one, okay? When you come to update quantity to three, okay, so you can see now profit will be changed. When I come to refresh, okay, now you can see Samsung Galaxy quantity three and profit has been changed, okay. Okay, so now come back to my list of products, okay. I just try to remove product with ID number one, okay, ID number one, I try to remove. So I come to action. Then I click action, okay, action is delete, click it, so ID current is one, when I click OK, OK, item has been deleted is successful, when I come to database, okay, so ID number one, always the cost, now will no longer be here, okay, so now I, when I click browse, okay, so ID number one no longer, now ID number two, number three, number four, and so on, number one has been deleted, okay, so now if I try to delete, ID number two, Samsung Galaxy. So when I click action, uh, just just refresh it. Okay, when I click action, okay. So now ID is two. When I click OK, okay, item has been deleted successful and now no longer in my data table. Let's try to database. When I refresh, okay. So Samsung Galaxy no longer be here because it has been deleted. Okay, okay. And just come to refresh. It's another problem now. Okay, so now, uh, okay, so web technology, Tazotomias, Ajax, jQuery, Google Font, and so on. So Ajax to send a synchronous post request, a synchronous uh, post request to access uh, API PHP. Okay, so now to me a JavaScript you could send a synchronous post request. When I click action, you need post request. Now JavaScript you may send Ajax post request. Okay. So Ajax to send a synchronous request. Post request. Ajax technology and jQuery. And jQuery is uh, to use library of JavaScript, of course, to just prepare our re request to interact with API application programming interface number one PHP okay and 
Google Fonts, you can see now our data table has been designed with uh, fonts, Google Fonts. You can see Google Fonts, okay? In Bootstrap, so but Bootstrap for material icons, okay? you can see material icons. Let's refresh it, okay? Material icons, then table and card, and since this is a card view, and so on. Bootstrap, okay? And alert dialog, okay? So an alert dialog for notification, and I update, the item has been updated, alert dialog. And open source uh, switch alert, okay? Switch, switch alert. PHP, so PHP to process data at back end, or you have to update that. For example, when you click this one, item has been updated, so PHP is going to update, okay? Now, ku just fetch data from the database, ku it up, okay? Now, JavaScript, you can see JavaScript or event, someone click event, when you icon you delete, even JavaScript, okay? And data table to fill it our table, okay? So, you can see showing one to six of six entries. Now, I can click next, and that is going to you can search. For example, Camellia perfume, now I can filter, okay? Can filter by using these icons. You can see the icons. I can filter it. So open source data table. Okay, and filter. Again, is data table. You can see my SQL, my SQL database. This one, my SQL. Okay, okay. So now come to local disk C and ZAMP and hypertext documents. Okay, okay. So now you created directories and project. Okay. Then inside the project, create a directory that is data table. Inside, then you can. Okay. So, kija katika project yetu kuna bootstrap, na JavaScript, na CSS kidogo tumeka. Okay. So, hizi zote ni live dollar ambazo tumizinkuli yaba. So, nimeka linki kwenye video description. Mwaza kwa kuangalia how to integrate a let open source. Uh, library kwa jili ya material dialogue material dialogue item has been updated it's alert okay so now kwa link description find how to integrate bootstrap now can find video ni miaka link description how to integrate bootstrap this is a custom google font you can even uh, click some fonts okay and jquery library jquery okay so now in a switch alert switch alert library when you link description, you make a link how to integrate. Is what okay? So now come to address bar. Okay, address bar. Okay. So now select it. Then you from CMD, CMD command prompt CMD. Okay, so now then you click enter. After then, just right here code and leave space dot. Click enter. So this uh, it a function. Visual Studio Code, okay? So, Visual Studio Code, you can know, see my data table, send, collect, bootstrap, custom, Google, okay? Okay, so now here, create index.html, index.html, of course, in PHP, sorry, index.php. Then I click enter. Okay, index.php has been created. When I come to my project, okay, you can see index.php, okay, is in the library, okay? When you come to my project, then I integrate. Okay, so now, come on, we can be on by India on link description and Galia Namna to integrate this. Quadilla of Fanya Cases go offline. So I have a bootstrap, I have a let file, I have a themes, I have a default in custom Google fonts. Okay, I use JavaScript, I have a sweet alert and a let file, and so on. How to integrate this? Go in your link description. Okay. Okay. So now we create an HTML table for displaying our items. Okay. Items. Okay. So now come to database. Okay. PHP. Then click in new. Then create a new database. For example, sample underscore DB. Okay. And then click create. Okay. So now create a what? A table. Table name will be products. Number of columns will be let's see, number of columns. Let's find the number of columns here. Okay, sorry. I come to click in products. Okay, and my product. Then you come to structure. Number of columns is seven. Okay, so now number of columns is seven. Okay, so now click create. 
Okay. So the first column will be name, quantity, price, and tax. Okay. So just put name, mm, quantity, again, price and tax, and, and price, and uh, of course tax. Okay. Status ID and profit, and put status, status, and ID, and again the profit. Okay. So now for name data type is character, variable character, quantity data type is or integer. Okay, so now tax data type is now is just put integer. Okay, now and status data type is variable character. Again, ID is integer and profit is uh float. Okay, and now we come to va variable character data size 100 okay and status 100 id id will be i just put it id will be of course in the outer increment is primary key okay id is primary key and just put as out outer increment okay as an id and profit so now in profit we want to generate a profit okay and in tax just put as uh come to defaults okay and then come to put as defined and put um, in value on default value okay and profit just come to uh, put a formula calculate your profit okay so what profit equal to price minus price okay times tax divided by 100 then times quantity you want to calculate profit so i copy the formula so just put profit so come to um yes can I navigate it come to virtuality uh, then find the okay. so now just right click the profit so go virtual okay so expression now i test okay so we just find it for uh, profit equal to price minus price times tax divided by 100 times quantity then you get a profit so profit on the part about a we on a tax collection tax collection is asilimia kumenanane asilimia kumenanane ya shilingi f moja itakwa shilingi ngapi ko utachukua bei ulouza utatoa bei ulouza utazidisha asilimia kumenanane ya price divided by 100 usha zidisha kwa quantity quantity of course divided by quantity uh, times quantity okay so quantity so when quantity is two bei ita profit inazidi kupanda okay so now after then just click save okay so now try to insert okay Insert data so name la coste okay and quantity is one for example price is that one and task default status for example is new id is auto increment then this one will be both perfume for example okay and quantity we put one okay and price for example that's the price and status is new okay and id is out increment then i click go now you can click close okay you can see profit automatic in a generate so taxi collection percentage in the community percent okay and quantity is one price here yeah. when i change quantity the profit will be increased okay okay so now come to try okay, edit quantity for example is two and profit now when i click go now profit will be changed okay so now we can see profit has been changed okay so now come to um, project here so create a table to display our uh, data okay so now div uh, class okay equal to and put that quotation and then you close it okay so now div class equal to container okay okay so here just put div class equal to pi okay so pi minus five 
again di sore yes put it again again inside put it div class equal to container container just put container refresh okay container refresh okay again uh div class equal to row and just put it row and then justify content center and choose this one okay just and then again div class will be um let's put a div class will be column here yes right call okay median k and is 12 okay full with this okay so div class just we put a card here so just write a div class equal to card okay space then is shadow in margin top we put margin top equal to 23 okay then we just create another div here oh, sorry okay so div class will be a uh, card body card body card body okay so after card body just write a paragraph p uh, okay so just say list of products list of products and display uh, products there too when you uh, list okay okay so now after then come to refresh save changes and come to see the output okay so just come to uh, my browser then access uh, local hosting okay 127.0.0.1 okay then i click enter navigate my project and data table and click data table it's a list of products now you can see no products okay so now i create a table okay so now table okay so table class will be table sorry table class equal to table okay again table let's choose table table border d okay, okay and table strip d table um, okay table strip d okay after then i just come here and then i call the table my table has been created so now i put a column the first uh heading so say table head okay sorry table head that's on table head and then I close the site T row T row and then I close the site T H and table head and then I close so table heading here kwanza it aqua just we put uh data table database okay we just come to our database okay okay so we display ID name quantity price and so on okay i'll come to on this so just display here uh, id okay and then name quantity and then just write name here and let's duplicate okay okay so here will be a name okay and here will be a quantity in uh, profiting and price okay so price uh, status in tax okay tax collection as well in uh, this one will be an action action is to do it okay okay so now when I Save changes. Nagnikija kwenye page ni refresh. Page. Sorry, this page. When I refresh, okay, you can see now it looks so nice. Okay. So now I fetch data from the database. Okay. So come to my project. Okay. Okay. So after table, uh, you yeah, know, so just going here. Yeah. Okay. Now after table head, now T body. Uh, okay, T body then I cause T body. Okay, 
inside T body I just write PHP scripting or PHP then I come here then down then I pause it okay then I establish connection I say now comment establish connection connection will be variable con equal to cause my SQL I underscore connect connect to local hosting okay and the first argument second argument will be username default is root you can look at the user then you can so the password is empty and database name let's check in my database name and then my database in the database is my 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 user sorry that has been name sample db so my database is sample db okay you can see it products okay structure okay my database name is sample db so here you can write sample db let's choose sample db Okay, let's call it sample db. Okay, of course. After then you come to terminate. So write your query. So here is query to fetch data from database. So variable query equal to the first one is select. Okay. Select ID and then your name and then uh price okay price okay and profit okay and quantity quantity of course this one the quantity let's check column name column is quantity okay and yes uh, quantity no n Quantity and tax profit tax and tax okay status okay sorry and tax status okay and yes check it status price quantity so seven okay so just check it and check and seven columns one two three four five six seven okay so from where from products okay so order okay order by id uh, scanning okay order by id uh, scanning okay so now we just come to terminate okay so now execute okay execute the query okay so variable execute okay, execute uh, equal to my built-in function my sql i underscore now right query okay then argument first argument will be variable con then second will be variable sql this one. variable query sorry variable query Another step is now process, okay, process the response from the server, okay, so process the response, okay, and I put if my SQLI underscore, now we use number of rows, okay, number of rows, then variable, execute, okay, we return beta number of rows, beta than zero, sorry, it means, uh, Let's put it data zippo else okay else is comment no that I just okay so now <coughs> come to fetch data now fetch data okay now fetch data let's now format it okay okay let's format it so now fetch data fetch data and while loop okay while and we just 
we put the variable row here equal to my SQLI underscore uh, fetch array, okay, fetch array, then variable execute, okay, okay, so, <coughs> so now we echo, uh, echo, echo, uh, yes, I mean, double quote, okay, echo, so inside double quote, table data, and then you close table data. Then, of course, we have to write table row, okay? Table row, uh, yes. Table row, you know, see. Yes, sorry. Table row, yes, delete it. And delete it, okay? Table row, table that. Let's copy. So, inside table, so we just concatenate. Oh, of course, uh, to be as double quote, and then dot dot, okay? So we capture variable row and variable row, then we capture ID, so image ID, okay, so ID from the database, okay, ID, okay, row ID. So copy the same code and come to duplicate and just delete in a table row, okay, let's copy it, okay, so now come to duplicate, duplicate, okay. Okay. ID another is name so name and like a column dog on the database so on the database we capture a name okay we capture a name now in case is sensitive okay case is sensitive just write a name mm, here just write here a name again in table head capture a quantity so just copy quantity here so is case sensitive quantity you may start in a capital letter when you go in the database you may start in a small later, okay? So, for that, we okay, so, quantity, so just, uh, let's write it, quantity, name, then quantity, then small later, quantity, okay? Again, just take profit, okay? So, just write profit, okay? And price, in small later, and price, and Status and tax, okay. Then you just write status and tax, tax of course, and action, okay, of course. So no action column, can see. I put an action column, no action column. So in action, we just see uh, leave it as a blank. Then just use a blank. Action will be delete. Okay, enough. Okay. So now. We just come here to my SQLI underscore free. Okay, so now free. Okay, so free results variable execute. Okay, and just we terminate free results. And now we come to close connection. So my SQLI underscore close. My SQLI underscore now built in function close close our connection okay so variable con okay connection close connection come to terminate save changes and come to refresh output and come to refresh output refresh. Mm, sorry error object class could not be converted oh. mm. line number 68 Oh, sorry, single, single dollar sign, single dollar sign. Okay, now in a refresh. Okay, so now table in you know, a look nice. I have only two products, the cost and both. Okay, in my database. Then price, and this is the profit, and so on. So now we need to set events. Come on, even on the app, events. Okay, yeah. okay. these are events. We need to set. Okay. Okay, so um, come to code. Okay, quantity, and of course, yes. so we just come here and 
delete quantity okay so that's that's okay in quantity just uh of course delete quantity for delete quantity okay 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 that quantity okay okay so we just create a div okay so we just create a div uh div class okay sorry yes this one here okay so div class equal to okay now i close my div okay so i use a single quote okay quote, okay so div class will be input group input and then group then it text will be a center okay and the style and just write a style here style style will be width okay so just write width then width will be uh for example let's put one three zero okay and it is a pixels now we create a button okay yes we create a button so button class yes we use a bootstrap okay button class equal to and i close my button okay so what button class will be uh input group we're using input group input sorry let's copy it input group okay and button class paste it input groups then input group will be input group or just a text sorry input group uh text okay in leave a space and just choose text background warning then text big warning choose it text big warning then leave a space okay then we just write your class name is change uh, quantity I need to change a quantity and class name okay and again we just write decrement decrement then hyphen btn okay so now we put a thing like this save changes and come to refreshing outputs in the output in my uh, project okay so now when i click refresh okay you can see decrement so now we add an increment button okay so uh let's put the value here okay value okay so value equal to let's put the, uh okay so now here we just create an input type so input type uh, type equal to let's write a text sorry single quote and text okay and just copy it and just put tab class equal to yes so class input group text okay input group text then uh it's inside it's gonna be the bg just put bg info sorry uh, sorry let's delete it so you just indicate yeah, texting okay so name just write a quantity quantity okay name is quantity and somebody input type of text you just put a class is form just choose form control is form control okay so yes i form form control okay let's put form control class is form control and uh let's put product underscore quantity product underscore quantity and text center let's put it text and then hyphen just choose center okay text and center 
and now we just put value after single rotation okay one is inside rotation one okay try to save changes okay now you can see it looks so nice okay now we just put button here okay then we, we copy and we paste so this would be increment okay in okay increment increment btn then you just put a symbol like this okay and uh another thing remain the same okay so when i come to save changes you can see now comment so text we just put background equal to be info now yeah, how can put it be uh success okay when you save changes okay let's check okay now you can click to increase click. okay so and when i come to my database okay when i click in set okay name is for example product name okay quantity is one price is this one okay and tax the status is new id is on increment name is perfume okay okay and quantity is one and that is price that one okay status old for example and when i click it go Okay, data has been sent. It does only get uh, my project. Okay, when you refresh, okay. Okay, so after then, come to add a uh, font away some here. So when you delete, okay, and delete, come to this one, delete, okay, and delete, come to add i class equal to. Okay, then I close I. Okay, I class. I choose far. So single quote. I'm sorry. Single quote. Okay. Far. Far. Delete. Okay. Then the text will be danger. Okay. So when I save changes. Okay. And I come to refresh. Ah, uh, is not. Can you get my project? So. Uh, okay, sorry, just my mistake. Sorry, it's far far trash. Okay, so now you refresh and I can see trash. Okay, okay, so <coughs> we come to set event. And when I keep clicking on event, uh, okay. So you create a custom, then custom.js, okay. Custom.js, custom.js, and a function here in a tour. 